The design vision and inspiration for Fire Engine Station is twofold. The first is uh, enabling us to achieve what's an easily navigable space for passengers. And in addition to that, we then looked at uh, what inspiration we could get from the local area. In particular, uh, we looked at the heritage industries. So at the West End, you had um, sort of fine metal work of locks, clocks, jewelry making. And at the East End, we have uh, heavy metal making, ironmongery, you know, that, that sort of more heavy metal work. On the west, we drew in an aspect of the uh, jewellery quarter, which is diamond, uh, and that is reflected in the uh, predominant architectural feature here, which is the uh, ceiling, which is, is literally under construction right behind us. On the east, we took inspiration from the nearby Barbican Centre, uh, where there are uh, coffered ceilings and we res uh, adopted that as a way of expressing the architectural space within that ticket hall. The one common material that we use between the two ticket halls is light coloured bronze or champagne coloured bronze as the trade knows it. And we use that in panels on walls, particularly the uh, acoustic panels. We chose that particular material uh, rather than the conventional grey coloured stainless steel panels because the champagne colour gives that warm touch and, and it's also uh, pertinent to the reference that we are making to the local or nearby jewellery quarter. Fire Indian Station is one of five mine stations on the new Elizabeth Line. It will have two new platforms, roughly 240 metres long each and the, those will be located 30 meters below ground. At street level, we have two entrances, one on the east and one on the west. E engineering has allowed us to achieve our key objective, a series of easily navigable spaces. And to achieve that, uh, we've had to create column-free spaces. So this, this interchange concourse behind us will have no columns, at least in the path of passengers. The same story applies at the east end of the station. We have religiously adopted the common design features, particularly at platform level, uh, and, and that's in the uh, design of the platform edge doors, the signs, seats, uh, and the glass fiber reinforced concrete wall panels with its sweeping curves and perforations for acoustic absorption. Cowcroft Street will be pedestrianised with seats, um, light columns, benches, trees and such like. And, and uh, by being pedestrianised means that there will be little room, if at all, for vehicles. Uh, so that would be a more comfortable place for pedestrians and passengers. The urban realm design has also provided an opportunity to knit the two ends of the station together so you, you can walk through um, an area with common materiality, common features between one station end and the other. I compare it in some senses to um, the making of a watch, which is a local trade, um, where all the parts of the watch are put together and then at one point in time it's wound up and then starts to tick. Um, watchmakers would at that point say it's alive. Um, I'm therefore looking forward to that point in the station where trains are coming in and going, passengers are arriving and departing, and the station can be deemed to be, at that point, alive.